Hima Sood. Hima, you told me you've authored 10 books. Yes. Tell us about those, please. Yeah. So actually, I never really planned to be an author. I yeah. wanted to join the corporate world. Okay. But then what happened is, I went for an early morning walk on the beach. This was decades ago in Chennai, which was Madras at that time. And the waves of the ocean started teaching me the philosophy of the Bhagavad Gita. And then my whole life took a U-turn hmm. and I started writing. Within six weeks of that incident, yeah. I came to this is Sure. This was 1987. 87? Yes. Oh, wow. And within six weeks of this incident on the beach, yeah. I got engaged to uh, Sandeep. He lives in Goa. Okay. And then we got married 35 years ago. Okay. So what happened with that is I could make repeated visits to the beach. I see. And I grew up in Bangalore. So I we see. had no access to the beach. Right. But I think the waves of the ocean fascinated me. I, I love to swim. And that's how my journey began. I see. And then the other books are basically philosophy they deal more with the philosophy of karma and rebirth quite a serious subject no? yes a very serious subject and I've made it in a story form okay. so that you know people can understand and relate to it it's a very light-hearted read uh, the karmic city trilogy series yeah and then subsequently I came out with a book on my brother which your latest was the is, is today is this released is today. today this is released today but this book was released six years ago as karmic chords I see Sorry. Yeah. And uh, that time I was actually dealing with my brother's loss and I, I was trying to come to terms with it. Oh. And then my eighth book is the uh, kind of a revised edition of my first book because it went out of print. It was printed in 94, but that time it sold over 5,000 copies. Wow. It was very well received. Really? And in fact, I got excellent write up in Romantic and The Weekender, which yeah. is there. Where they so it's a very niche to, audience. It's a niche. Sorry, compared you to? Yes, compared compared me to to Archimedes and Newton because they said that this is something very unique. It's yeah. literally like you've discovered something else because how can the ocean teach you philosophy? And I said that every aspect of Mother Nature teaches us lessons. So it's a niche. Us. It's a niche audience. That is true. But so Pan maybe, India, Pan India. Yeah, Pan India. But now I think I've come out with this book. This book has done extremely well. It is historical fiction. Okay. It has three timelines. Set where? It is set in Tijara Fort Palace, which is near Delhi. It is uh, three timelines based on Tijara. Which years? And uh, so we have it in the 5,000 years ago when the Mahabharat war took place, the Kurukshetra war. We have it in the 17th century when the Fort Palace was actually built. And the... Pa fiction part is set in 1977, where a doctor is mysteriously murdered and the police officer is psychic. I see. So what happens is through clairvoyance, he solves the murder mystery. I see. And personally, I am a Reiki grandmaster. Okay. I'm a healer. I'm a psychic medium. So all that knowledge and all that I work with higher energies, I brought into this book. Okay. And this book has done really well. It has already sold about 1,500 copies in the first few uh, six to eight months. I see. And it's also currently going to be a Netflix series. I'm in talks with two, three different people. Very interesting. So, yes. And then today, this was was released. So this was my ninth book and this is my tenth book. So you're doing all this out of Vasco? Yeah, I live in Dublin. Dublin. Yeah, very close to the airport. Okay. And uh, yeah. And what's the challenge of being an author in Goa? So definitely we have less uh, ability to connect to many big publishers or say to connect to agents. Media, agents, media. media. Yes. And also what happened is that till the last two to three years, I didn't strive to do much. My children were small. I had uh, different responsibilities. So I would definitely write. But maybe I didn't step out to publish or I didn't step out to attend literary festivals. I actually started attending uh, GALF in 2015. Okay. But I can say that uh, I and Vivek Menezes and Yatin Kakorkar have been very supportive. They okay. really guided me, assisted me. This is my third release here in Gaza. I've had two earlier. And uh, it's been a very, very wonderful journey. Of late, I've been attending many literary festivals. I, I was in Pune last year, last so month. The literary festivals help, don't yes. help? Yes. yes. No, for me, in, they've helped immensely because I get to meet fellow authors, people I don't know otherwise. So I definitely found a lot of benefit in attending because, you know, in the author's lounge, one can meet different people. Yeah. Thank so you. definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah. All the best. Thank you so much.